Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'd like to start by noting already this evening and in past debate, we've heard really clear uh, calls for how important this bill is, in particular from our honourable colleague from Nunavut. Uh, tonight, uh, the member for Winnipeg Centre uh, further uh, made, made clear that case. So with the limited time that I have, the contribution I'd like to make to this debate is really focused on the importance of listening to Indigenous leaders, and in particular, uh, with respect to the Truth and Reconciliation Commission's calls to action. Because in my view, Bill C-273 is an offer to all parliamentarians to move ahead with the TRC's calls to actions. And for my part, I've committed to fully imp uh, implementing them, as has the Green Party of Canada. And so I'll read out once again, call to action six. We call upon the Government of Canada to repeal section 43 of the Criminal Code of, Ca of Canada. This is exactly what Bill C-273 seeks to do. As background, the Truth and Reconciliation Commission issued 94 calls to action back in 2015. And progress has been absurdly slow. Uh, at the current pace, the calls will not be completed until 2081. Yet, every party in this House of Commons has committed to fully implementing the calls. I'll summarize them now. In 2015, then leader of the Liberal Party of Canada, now the Prime Minister, said, on behalf of the Liberal Party of Canada and our Parliamentary Caucus, I affirm our unwavering support for the TRC's recommendations and call on the Government of Canada to take immediate action to implement them. While well, that's being applauded by a member from the governing party, I would remind that member, through you, of course, that call to action six is exactly what this bill is calling for. And so I certainly hope that this government will be supporting Bill 273. Uh, the Conservative Party uh, in 2021, Aaron O'Toole, then leader of the Conservative Party, pledged a plan to implement all truth and reconciliation calls to action. I assume that included call to action six. The Bloc Québécois in 2021, their platform, Bloc MPs would pressure the federal government to implement all recommendations from the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. Uh, in the same campaign, 2021, the leader of the NDP committed to fully implement all outstanding recommendations from the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. An NDP MP, in fact, is bringing forward a bill here to work towards doing so. And the leader of the Green Party of Canada, the member for Saanich Gulf Islands, pledged the same thing. And so, in short, I hope my colleagues follow through on the commitments of their parties and those that I know they personally, I'm sure, have also made. And certainly, at the very least, that this would get to committee, because this is the second time now in my time as an MP that I'm seeing this gap between commitments to follow the TRC calls to action and opportunities that MPs have to do so. The last time was on Bill C-5, and one of the TRC call to action, number 32, is to remove mandatory minimum penalties. And of course, C-5 removed some, but not all of them. That wasn't what was in call to action 32. It was to follow through on removing all of them. Once again, though, uh, in this vote on C-273, parliamentarians will have another opportunity for those who have pledged to pressure the government to do so while this is now being offered. An MP has put forward a bill that would very directly call to uh, repeal Section 43 of the Criminal Code. That is called to Action 6. And so I would hope that colleagues would support this bill and in doing so, move us one very small step closer towards following through on all 94 calls to action of the Truth and Re Reconciliation Commission from back in 2015. We are now in 2024. We need to move more quickly. Here is one chance to do so. Thank you.